Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here, back again with another Minimax audio tutorial video. And by the way, you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to subscribe to Minimax Audio and also how to access the Minimax Audio API. Within this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a voice clone. So I'm logged in to Minimax Audio and then I go to voice clone. Now, once I'm here, if I had an existing voice clip, I could upload the file. But since I don't, I'm going to record a clip and it's got to be 10 to 60 seconds long and it'll leverage that clip for the, uh, for the voice cloning. In this case, it'll be a voice clone of me. So let's go ahead and click record audio. So you didn't hear my spoken part right there because, well, I've only got one microphone. But what it did when I recorded through the Minimax Audio website using my microphone, it created this, uh, this recording. And what this will be used for is cloning my voice. So uh, I've got the option to do remove background noise. In my case, I don't have background noise. Name the voice, I'll say Irix guy. Language, of course, is English. And then it's got this disclaimer. I confirm, obviously, this is my voice, so I have authority to use my own voice. So I'll do convert. Now it says converting. So, and in, in worth mentioning, this clip that I used to create the voice clone had to be 10 to 60 seconds in duration. And I just I just spoke naturally and clearly, and that's what Hello. it used. I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. Choose a voice that resonates with you, and let's begin our creative audio journey together. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this volume up here so you can hear this. Voice that resonates with you, and let Sorry, I pressed mute. Let me start over. Let's begin our creative audio journey together. Hello, I'm delighted to assist you with our voice services. Choose a voice that resonates with you, and let's begin our creative audio journey together. So now what I'm going to do is do a text-to-speech, because I want you all to tell me how uh, believable this is. So what I'll do for voice over here, I'll select Irix guy, which is the one I just created. It cloned my voice. And then we'll say, Chef Irix guy grills and smokes a ton of cuisine at the Appalachian Ocean. Now, obviously right now I'm speaking, so this is not my voice clone, but what what I'm creating here will be the voice clone. So y'all are gonna have to tell me how it sounds. So Chef Irish Sky grills and smokes a ton of cuisine at the Appalachian Ocean. He lives with George Cooney, the raccoon. George Cooney is arguably the most famous raccoon in the world. George Cooney, and crew eat like kings. Okay, so now let's generate this. So what I'm doing now is generating. So what you're going to hear shortly, I'll shut up and you'll hear the, the spoken part, the text to speech, but instead of me reading it, it'll be the voice clone that I created reading it. So let's generate, I'll shut up. Chef Irix Guy grills and smokes a ton of cuisine at the Appalachian Ocean. He lives with George Cooney, the raccoon. George Cooney is arguably the most famous raccoon in the world. George Cooney and crew eat like kings. So hearing that, and I'll play it again here. Now this is me speaking now, but that was the voice clone. Here goes the voice clone again. I'm going to click play. So listen 
and tell me below how authentic, how believable is this voice clone? Chef Eric Sky grills and smokes a ton of cuisine at the Appalachian Ocean. He lives with George Cooney, the raccoon. George Cooney is arguably the most famous raccoon in the world. George Cooney and crew eat like kings. Okay, so that concluded the, uh, this is me speaking now, this is not the voice clone. But hearing it, I've got my own opinions and it's very, very good. I will tell you it's very, very good. Now, if it wasn't myself with my own ears listening to it, it's actually so good that it's frightening because it is, it's, it's very believable. I mean, especially if, if somebody heard that on a, on a phone call or whatever, they might would think that it's Irix guy. So uh, tell me below, what do you think? What, uh, how believable was the voice clone that I just created? What sounds great? What potentially sounds off? I want y'all's feedback. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you what I heard. And like I said, it's great, but I did hear some things that I'll talk about within future videos. So subscribe to my channel and check out my uh, Minimax video playlist, but I don't wanna spoil the surprise. I wanna hear y'all's feedback and then see if it's in line with what I heard with my own ears. But this is very cool technology, Minimax Audio. This was Minimax Audio voice clone. And then I took my clone voice that I created and used text to speech within Mini Minimax Audio and created this short clip. So, I mean, it's, it's a, excuse me, it's amazing technology. And the use case for this I mean, from my perspective, this is so good that when I'm creating a video, if I need a video to be narrated, but I don't want to take the time to narrate it myself, I could, I could leverage uh, this right here. I could use text to speech within Minimax Audio and choose my voice, my clone voice, as the, uh, as the voice. And in essence, it would sound pretty much just like me narrating the video. The, the value add is that I didn't have to take the time to go to a quiet environment to record the voiceover. I didn't have to take the time to potentially re-record if I, if I stepped on my words and, and had to record it again. Using text to speech is a way to, trash, to fast track rather one's uh, audio workflow. And in, in my case, it would be narrations for videos. So this is very useful, very simple to use technology, a variety of different use cases. Again, my use case will be for YouTube, but you may be creating voiceovers for other things as well. But this is how to, how to create a voice clone within Minimax Audio, and then how to use that voice clone that you've created within Minimax Audio. So just super duper cool technology. And obviously there's a download link down there so you can download your creation after you've created it and then put it into whatever uh, item that you plan to use your, uh, your voice clone within. So very cool. Again, expand this video's description. I've included links there to where you can sign up for Minimax Audio and also a link to the Minimax uh, Audio API. Thanks for your viewership. Be sure to subscribe and check out all of my other Minimax videos too. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.